okay you want to start up your computer and boot from the CD in my case I do this you may need to go into your BIOS and set it to boot from CD or DVD first once you tell it to boot from CD it will ask you to press any key to boot from DVD press enter this bar will take about a minute Then it'll uh, come up to the setup menus, click next, click install now. Depending on which uh, system you have, if you have a 64-bit system, you click this. If you have a 32-bit system, you click the 86. Click Next. Accept the terms. Next. Custom. Select your hard drive. Click Next. Or you might may want to format it. Click OK. Click on it. Click Next. And then this will take a while. Okay, now it's saying that I need to restart. So it'll automatically restart by itself. That just took about 15 minutes. Now it's going to restart and continue with the installation process. Some registry updates. So it's going to continue with the installation. That shouldn't take very much longer. Okay, it's going to restart again. on your computer it'll probably show a different logo 
um, right there it, it just showed the Vista boot menu uh, on your computer uh, it'll probably show a word that says starting windows and then a flashing or pulsing windows logo mine doesn't show that because my video card uh, isn't good enough to show that so your com computer may show uh, what you just saw or the new logo depending on your video card it is just going through ver various checks right now Now you have to go through the setup, just create a your username. My name is Tyler. Click next. Uh, type a password. Click next. Uh, Click use recommended settings. Change it to your time zone. My time zone is Eastern. And the time's wrong. It is 8 p.m. Make sure the date's right. Click next. It's going to finalize your settings. Then it's going to come up asking you to type in your password. After it restarts, it's going to come up asking you to type in your password. And then as soon as you type in your password, it will quickly restart again before it shows you your desktop. So it's starting up normally now. Again, yours will show the Windows Pulsing logo if your video card is good enough. So you type in your password, and then right away it'll it's going to restart. So now it's restarting. It just showed you a quick preview of your desktop. Um, this may or may not happen. You may just have to type in your password and then it'll stay on. It may not restart. Um, sometimes when I do it, it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So This time it did. So you type in your password again, press enter, it'll show your desktop again, and then uh, you're going to want to install your drivers. So to see your drivers and what is installed and what hardware you have, you go to the start button, 
you go to computer, you don't click on it, you right click on my computer and you click properties. It'll show you what version of Windows you have. You scroll down and it'll say it's activated or not activated. Um, it'll show you how many gigs of RAM and all that stuff. So you want to go on the left here and click on device manager. It'll show you a list of all your devices. So for me, it shows that I need to install my network adapter and my audio adapter. Plus, I need to update my VGA gra graphics adapter to make the resolution uh, bigger or smaller. So I uh, I do that. So for me, I go to where my drivers are. I just plugged in my USB. It is just uh, installing. So I go find where my drivers are. So I, I install my graphics. I have to run it in compatibility for this. Went for Windows XP. Enter. Run it again. And then it'll work. This is for the graphics media accelerator driver. Click yes. Go through it. Install anyways. Yeah, so for you, you're going to need to find out what type of um, hardware you have, and then go to the appropriate website, like hp.com or acer.com, and click on support and drivers, and then just download them after you, and then, uh, and everything should be good. Thanks for watching.